Hello, my name is Amy. Welcome to another um, hand pen play along video. I've got a fun new exercise for you today. This is one that I practice quite often and have been for the last year or so. Um, and it's been a real game changer for me in terms of um, speed. I used it for, for building up my speed and also for finding new creative ways to build new beats and grooves and rhythms and that kind of thing. So I'll show you what that looks like now. Um, and yeah, as usual, stick around till the end of the video because then once we've worked through it, um, I'll show you a couple of variations as well so that you can mix it up a little bit and make it more interesting for yourself. So I'll show you how it goes and then once you've seen what we're aiming for in the end, we'll break it right down, we'll slow it right down and we'll practice it together. So this is the final goal. <laughs> already worked out what I'm doing there well done I'll slow it right the way down for you so you can listen again and here is um, a pictorial version of what that looks like so what I'm doing is I'm shifting uh, the accent or in this case shifting where I play the ding in the pattern so if I'm counting from one to four you can see where the um, numbers and ands are highlighted in red that's where I'm playing the ding so listen again carefully one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing there. And then eventually you can speed that right the way up and so on and so forth. So that's the goal. Um so what we'll do now is we'll break it all the way down line by line, practice it together. So the first line, and you can have a go after me, is one and two and three and four and nice and simple. So I'm playing my ding and then nice gentle ghost notes here and adds a slow tempo when we're playing slowly, we can use just one finger for our ghost notes. What I tend to do as we speed up, is start dividing uh, when I'm playing between two of my fingers. In my case, peace man, I use my forefinger and my middle finger. Some people like to use uh, their forefinger and their ring finger. It's entirely up to you. But at this tempo, we can keep it just simple hand to hand. So that first line then, that's a repeat after me, my turn and your turn. One and two and three and your turn. One and two and Three and four and excellent. Okay, line two. One and two and three and your turn. One and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and great. The next line. One and two and three and off you go. One and two. One more. One and two and three and four. Go. One and two and three, four. Nice. So you'll notice, you'll start to notice now, that every time um, the ding is being played on a number, we're using our right hand or our dominant hand, whichever hand you lead with when you're playing. And then whenever we're playing an and, it's our non-dominant hand, in my case, my left hand. So if you want to follow along, Follow the arm that's got tattoos on it. Somebody pointed that out to me in a class the other day. Um, so that's how you know I'm playing with my right hand. Um, so, but as with any activity, I have to make sure that once we've got the hang of it, we always practice the other way around, leading with our non-dominant hand as well. So keep that in mind as you play. Okay, so the next line is one and two and three and four and... I'll play that again and then copy after me. One and two and three and off you go one and two and three nice one and two and three and four go one and two and three and four nice next line one and two and three and nice and easy one and two and three and next line one and two and three and four go one and 
two and three and let's try that one again one and two and three and four and one and two and three and next line one and two and three and four go one and two and three and four again one and two and three and four go one and two and three and four next line one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four again one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and nice okay we're gonna move on now we're gonna attempt to play it all the way through in a row one line after the other to a beat so if you need to practice that a little bit more before we do that rewind the video do that call and response again practice a little bit in your own time um, but once you've got that down the next step is to play along to a beat so the beat that I'm using is uh, 80 BPM simple drum kit you can find this on my website um, amynaylormusic.com and uh, there is a tab under there that says upbeat which is the title of my workshops uh, free beats for practice so click on that tab and there's loads and loads of beats if you scroll through loads that you can practice along to so the one we're using today is 80 bpm simple drum kit so you can use that again in your own time if you like just get it working first okay um i'll play one through and then i will just count for you so that you can practice it over and over okay let's do it nice and slowly my turn first one and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four go one and two and three and four and one So now you've had some guidance in that, you can go to the website, get a groove going, practice that over and over again. You can change the tempo so that you're practicing at different speeds and eventually you will have. And so on and so forth. Make sure that you practice with your other hand as well, because that's really, really important, um, especially as we start looking at different variations and ways that we can do this groove. So the reason that we um, practice this well, the reason that I practice this at least is to get my hands used to playing that ding in basically every single combination possible. Now, what I've just given you today, that exercise, is not every single combination possible. Um, so I'll be posting another video with even more versions of that so that we can start to build that up. And the idea is that it gives me ideas, it gives me different things that my hands are used to doing so that when I come to the pan and I want a groove, I can kind of easily slip into anything. line right one two three four and one two three four and one. I missed it and because I've done that exercise so many times my hands are used to doing that so I can just slip into that easily 
Um, so that's the idea. And then you can use that to give your grooves variation. Yeah, and I'm adding extra tacks in, but we can um, explore that further in another video as well. So in terms of variation then, so you made it through, you know how to do it, you've practiced it a bunch of times, starting to get a little bit laboursome, a little bit boring, you want different variations. Um, so something that we can do is um, practice accents instead of dings, which is exactly the same. The only thing we're doing is playing a little bit harder on the tack um, as we go through those rows. So ghost notes and tack, yeah, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And so on. Um, another thing that we can do is play around with different notes. So, for instance, using the note closest to you, and I use my thumbs when I do this. So, again, uh, this is really good practice at getting my thumbs used to playing in lots of different combinations. also play two notes um, kind of in either in harmony or in a groove so that's where it comes in really handy um, for instance I might want to play these two notes in a particular order so I'm going to switch to leading with my left hand so that I can get the sound that I want so that's right it's really important that you're practicing with your left hand as well so that it's just as strong for instance So there are three variations for you to work with. So you've got um, accent, one note, or two notes, dividing it between two notes. And then of course you've got the regular, and so on and so forth. There's loads of different other ways you can vary it. Um, we'll explore those another time. But if you think of one on your own and want to share it, want to share it with the world, please let me know. That'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, happy practicing. Um, please do check out my website, there's so much stuff on there that you can use totally for free. Um, if you're interested, I also run a weekly class um, on a Sunday, 7pm UK time, it's called Upbeat. And we do some things like this and we also have a bit more kind of creative freedom time. And then at the end of the session, after about an hour of playing, we have some time to just hang out and socialise. Um, and the reason I started that was, um, I started this class at the beginning of uh, Covid and lockdown and was missing, you know, hemp and family. So it's been really, really nice to reconnect with everybody. Um, so if you want to come along for that, um, you are more than welcome. I also offer one-to-one -one, um, lessons as well. So just um, drop me an email, amynailermusic gmail dot com, and we'll see what we can do. But yeah, um, see you in the next video, and uh, have fun. <laughs>